everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl mercy and i'm back here with another video if you're new welcome we talk about all things faith and lifestyle and today we will be talking about for us christian women what kind of men to avoid when it comes to dating relationships and marriage so let's just get right into it you know this is the month all about love and so why not talk about relationships while we have the opportunity so these are things that I have personally learned to look out for and avoid in relationships in my life. So I thought, why not share them with some other ladies who may need help in that area? So without further ado, number one, the number one thing you want to avoid in a man is lack of submission to authority. And when I say authority, I mean God. So as a Christian woman, it is highly urgent that we have a man who is submitted to God's authority, submitted to Jesus and God's will, and who is going to humble himself to a higher power, who does not walk in pride, but who humility. And so you want to avoid a man who has no ability to submit and no relationship with God. That is always going to be a deal breaker. So number two is a man who lacks accountability. Um, this is this is going to come right underneath submitting to authority because if he doesn't have accountability, he can be submitted all he wants. But if he doesn't have accountability, like brothers in Christ and um, a community of people to keep himself to keep him accountable um, then it's not really a good look because in order to have accountability you have to seek accountability you have to be open and honest with the people around you so that they can hold you accountable because if they don't know your goals if they don't know what you're trying to accomplish then how are they going to hold you accountable so it's really the the man has to take initiative Anyone who wants accountability has to take initiative in seeking accountability because no one's going to walk up to you and be like, hey, I'm going to hold you accountable. So what am, I, what am I going to hold you accountable for? Like, we have to communicate that first. And so that's very important because when, you know, the man slips up, you know, there are people around him who are going to help him come or going to help him stand up because the Bible says that, you know, a righteous man falls seven times but gets back up every single time and so he's able to do that because of the community around him because of the people and the friendships and the brotherhood that keep him accountable um in, in walking the right path and so that is so important number three is men who aren't emotionally intelligent so red flags are always going to be thrown when i see a man who is not able to process his emotions and his feelings and to communicate what he's feeling um men who hide from their feelings or don't want to share and i understand like they need a safe space but there is there's there's a lot of men who have very very high walls up and they're not willing to break them down so um, if you are with somebody who's not emotionally intelligent or is just so emotionally unavailable that they cannot even let anyone in, that is going to be someone that you want to avoid. Moving on to number four, men who make lots of promises without any action. These are the worst. <laughs> because you have a lot of good talkers who are over promisers and under deliverers. And that is never fun because, you know, they get your hopes up so much and it's just a roller coaster of disappointments and letdowns of hope and failure, hope and failure. And it's just not fun. It's very taxing emotionally and mentally and I don't recommend it at all, zero out of 10. So if you make sure you're paying attention to the actions of these men, make sure they're not just talking, but they're coming through on whatever they say and definitely don't listen to them if they continue to promise things and they haven't even made an action on the first promise. Because how are you going to keep promising? You didn't even did the first one. So definitely not trustworthy. <laughs> Number five is 
men who aren't confident in their identity. This is um, this is super important because a man who lacks identity is not going to have direction in where he's leading you. It's just not going to happen. If he doesn't know who he is in Christ, if he doesn't know who he is, period, know his purpose, know what he's called to do, um, and he's not established, like, it's it's going to be the blind leading the blind, honestly. Or you might end up leading him, which is not the way God ordained it to be, obviously. And so definitely take heed. Pay attention. You really have to be very, very vigilant when dating and entertaining relationships with men because you really need to know that they are solid in who they are, that their character is not wavering or bending because there's always, men are always going to be, we're all tested, but men, men are tested in, in many ways um, that can easily lead to their demise. And so if they don't have character and identity in God, in Christ, then it's going to be easier for them to slip and fall. So that is number five. Number six is men who don't take accountability or responsibility for their actions or lack thereof. Uh, I think that's pretty understandable. So yeah, they just, they, they may hurt you. They may say some things that, you know, that hurt you and they don't take responsibility they gaslight you um they don't think they do anything wrong even though you're blatantly telling them how they made you feel um and then there's the men who just fail to act in general they they don't have any actions <laughs> so yeah it's just interesting yeah and last but not least you want to avoid a man who cannot communicate consistently. I think that's self-explanatory. No one wants to be left confused um, and unsure of their place in your life. And so the best way to be certain and confident in your relationship with somebody is if they communicate consistently. And this goes on both. This is this is on both ends. So um, when there's consistent communication, it leaves less space for assumptions because men hate when women assume. And the less you communicate, the more we're going to assume. So why not just communicate? <laughs> Somebody brother is watching this video. Why not just communicate? Hmm? So yes, these are the seven things that I have learned to avoid in men. And I hope this helps y'all. I hope you know, it really sticks in your mind when you are entertaining these men because we don't have time to waste anymore, okay? 2024 is the year of the bride. <laughs> it is the year of bridegrooms and celebrating and weddings and all the above. So we need to get it together. We need to hold the standard higher. We need to set the bar higher so that the men will have to raise themselves to the standards that we set. It is no more taking what we can get. We are going to um, command and require them to do better so that they do better so with all that being said with much love i am sending your way thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye